I felt like I could have played a lot better. Um, I gave up a, a touchdown with some uh, bad eyes, bad technique. I feel like if I would have never gave up that play, I probably would feel like I played a better game. But I feel like I could have definitely played a little better. Besides that one play, I mean, did you are you getting more comfortable? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Each game, you know, I'm getting more reps and I'm feeling more comfortable as as I get more and more plays under my belt. You know, it's it's different between running around and having to cover it. You know, I have to get my, my mind and my eyes right, and I'm getting more comfortable as I play more games. What, what do you think you learned the most about going against some of those elite receivers at Alabama and maybe the game progressing for you um, at um, Can you ask that question again? What do you feel like you learned from going against those elite receivers? And I know you said that you gave up a touchdown, but obviously you kind of rebounded from that. Mm -hmm. so um, I learned that you have to trust your technique, have to trust your eyes. You can't get lazy. Um, you have to always focus on your keys. And uh, I learned that um, you got to stay square with fast receivers. Uh, every last one of those receivers is very fast, very talented. You have to learn to kick, slide, and stay square and not just open up. What's the biggest thing that, that you've had to adjust to as a, a DB in terms of the um, I'll say the biggest thing I had to adjust to is tackling. You know, uh, uh, it's not easy just to go up in there and, and tackle no big running back up high. That's what I thought you had to do, just go and hit everybody up high. I had to learn how to chop tackle and everything else from a corner aspect. It's just being athletic and reading your keys. It's just the, um, I'm going to say the physical strain of it and the tackling part. Are you glad you made the change? Yeah, I, I am glad. I feel like my skill set fits me better at corner like it's a lot of receivers in the world that's six two that run four fours but it's not that many corners in the world with my stature. In terms of your defense overall coach was saying you guys need more consistency but anything from your perspective that you think you guys can improve on I know you guys play some pretty difficult opponents so that kind of puts things in perspective but you know what do you think you guys can, can work on defensively early in the game? Um I say get into the ball and continue to play for one another. As long as we plan for together and not just oneself we always have room to improve. Well, moving to corner. Yeah. Uh, I guess I want to say my athleticism really, um, being able to run with people, uh, being able to high point balls, you know, and defend the passes. I guess that that was the easiest part of me transitioning. As your um, experience. Yes, definitely, definitely, because you uh you learn some of the tendencies of receivers. You know, sometimes they'll widen their splits to come back in or cut down their splits to go out, and you know that coming from the offensive side of the ball. Where do you feel like you guys have made progress as a defense, and what do you need to clean up the most on defense? Um, the most progress that we made, I'm going to say, is everyone is starting to understand their role, and people are starting to play with more effort on the defensive side of the ball. Um, Obviously, we we all need to learn how to control our eyes and the little techniques that we need to continue to get better on. Do you remember anything about Texas State last year? Obviously, you were playing on the other side of the ball. But. Yeah. Um, well, Texas State, the quarterback, I kind of grew up with him, Willie Jones. So, he a familiar face. I know what what his tendencies kind of are. Um, he a very athletic quarterback, want to throw a deep ball. So, that's pretty much what I remember from him. Texas State. Have you, have, you talked, have you talked to him? Is he going to be able to play? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. I haven't talked to him. I try not to like if I'm playing one of my former friends. You know, I try not to talk to him the week of the game. I talk to him probably way before yeah. or after the game. I'm, I'm not talking to him up until the game. Does knowing him a little better than you would know another quarterback does that kind of help you? Yeah, definitely, definitely help me because I know some of his tendencies.